deep inside this cellar, in this large cask, is a precious commodity in the making, a red wine that is among the very best in the world. In the entire wine cellar, this is really the pride and joy, right? This is a real queen, absolutely. It's called Lermita, and winemaker Alvaro Palacios even lets me taste it. Mm. See the perfume, so delicate. Mm -hmm. Delicate, but very distinguished, as is the price. This is approximately $1,000 a bottle, right? Bueno, who, who cares? Who matters about the price? Is this going to solve Spain's economic crisis? This wine? Well, that would be a, a nice help. Palacios is a fifth-generation winemaker, but also an astute businessman. He looked to markets abroad 20 years ago, long before the crisis struck at home. And he says others in Spain need to do the same. I tell to my friends to tell to his sons, to his relatives, that they must get internationalized because the fury is so global, everything happens so fast. Palacios has built a $16 million business in three Spanish wine regions, scouring the nation for just the right vineyards. This one, about two hours southwest of Barcelona, grows grapes for the $1,000 wine. Lermita is named for the hermitage atop the hill. This is not a wine produced in bulk, a maximum of just 2,000 bottles a year. The wine is really, really good and so special, and the demand sometimes makes also the, make the price higher. Most of Palacio's wines cost a lot less, under $18 a bottle. But that's the point. He's producing the marquee vintage and the wine that's accessible to regular consumers. You have to make the best product possible because the consumers are very smart, very clever. So, great quality, and then export, you have to also sell in your country. So it's both things together. France, Italy, and Spain are the world's largest wine-producing countries, but the first two, France and Italy, enjoy more renown across the board for their wines than Spain. Alvaro Palacios has been working to change that. That means being innovative, even quirky. He uses mules to plow prime vineyards on hills too steep for tractors. And he doesn't have a website for the business. I don't need a website to drink the best wines of the world. I just know, I know where they are or I just ask. Above all, Alvaro Palacios is ready to take risks and seek out uncharted territory. Many Spanish businesses are not so good at that, he says. They are not internationalized. They don't speak good English. They don't know how to travel. I don't think it's laziness, but uh, should be frightened. I mean, to be afraid of. We don't know how to do it. We're not ready to do it. But he thinks there is a silver lining in Spain's long recession. I think that this crisis is making, is making young generations, new generations, understanding that, that the concept is to, to guarantee a market in the, in the international, in the international trade. So that the best Spain has to offer can be appreciated the world over.